Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing the YSL Rouge Volup Shine Lipsticks. Now you can get these from um, Sephora in the US or in the UK. I know you can get them from like House of Fraser or um, Debenhams also sells them. And basically they look like this. I believe they were about $34 in Sephora and basically they are probably the prettiest lipsticks you have ever seen. Now, what is really nice about these lipsticks is that if you have them standing up, if I show you them close, behind uh, this little like grill or something, they have a circle with the YSL logo. And then behind that, you, ha you actually have the color of the lipstick. So for example, this one's a bit purple. This one's a um, peachy, kind of like pink shade. And then here's a more nude. So you can see the color through the uh, packaging. It's not the actual lipstick you can see, it's just kind of like a uh, cover on the back. So, very very pretty uh, gold tube. If you compare them to other lipsticks, you can actually feel the weight of them. Like they are actually heavy and they feel really uh, luxurious and you feel really fancy when you hold them. Um, now basically, I know that they're expensive. And what's hard for me is I come from England where they're only probably... I think I got one around Christmas time for like 20 or 20 pounds or something. And then when you come over to the US and they're nearly double the price, it kind of scares you, but it's just a price conversion. So I know that they're very expensive. And I actually bought one of these recently from the US. And I kind of hesitated, not hesitated, but I was like, wow, this is a lot of money for a lipstick. But these are by far the best lipsticks I have ever tried. And I almost don't want to buy any other lipsticks because these are so great. I would much rather spend money on one of these and use it every single day and have amazing lips than to spend money on drugstore lipsticks. So out of these I have um, three colors. Number 19 which is a purple shade. It's not really, I don't know, it's kind of not really purple but it looks purple uh, in this little backlash or back um, drop. Then I have number 13 pink, really pretty pink shade, and then I have number eight, which is the nude. Now I'm going to lip swatch these all for you, um, and while I do this I will give you kind of an update of what I think of them. So let's just start, okay, let's start with the most nude and go upward just so that it doesn't stain my lips. So this is number eight, and this is a nude. Okay, this is one of my favorite, this is the one I bought recently. So this is a really pretty um, everyday pink. This is almost my natural lip shade, but just kind of like really glossy and really like gives it a little bit more pink shade and I really like that. So there it is up close. Um, and again, that is number eight. So now if I just wipe this off quickly. Okay, now I have the pink shade here now. This is number 13. So let's try this. I don't know, this one, um, when you look at it in the tube, I mean it looks kind of like a pink peach shade but I feel like it comes off a lot darker in person and when I bought this online I wasn't expecting it to be that dark but um yeah that's kind of why I went with the nude one as well just because I feel like this doesn't always go with my um dramatic eyeshadow looks so yep that's the number 13 uh pink shade Then I've got number 19, which is a purple shade. Now this is like straight up purple in the tube. Now I bought this simply for the fact that it was purple. I had no idea what it would look like. I just love purple. And if you know that I play League of Legends, I love Lulu. She is my all time favorite. I named my blog after her. Bittersweet Shelby comes from that. And purple is just amazing. So I had to buy this. Uh, okay, this is my favorite probably out of all of them. This one actually gives you a stain. I don't find that the other two do, but this darker shade stains your lips. So I just say like four hours throughout the day, uh, it will leave like a light, it's not as dark as this, but it's like a lighter pink on your uh, lips. And it doesn't feel like you have anything on your lips, it just stains and it's really, really pretty even when it rubs off. So that's the um, pink, uh, purpley kind of shade. It's not really purple, it's more of like a pinky purple, but I love this shade. So this is definitely one of my favorites. And I know that Lisa Eldridge actually did a video about this. And I guess everyone went insane about it a couple years ago. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like named after her because she was kind of the one that got everyone into it. But yeah, I love this. Um, now, 
how do these lipsticks feel and wear? So again, like I said, the purple one stains your lips, which is really awesome because if you're like me, I don't like to apply my lipstick very much. Um, and so pretty much when it wears off, it's still good to go. The other two probably last about a couple hours before you need to reapply, but it just feels so good on your lips that you want to reapply. So that's kind of like my thing. Like once it starts to rub off, I kind of want more on just so that my lips feel nice. It's kind of like the texture of it is almost like a lip balm. So think of it like really like moisturizing. It's not thick necessarily, but it feels really good. It almost feels like you have like a lip gloss that's not sticky. It's, it's really bizarre how they feel, but they just feel honestly like so moisturizing. And I have really like, I think sensitive lips because they always hurt, especially with like drugstore lipsticks where they feel more dry. I mean, I get really bad pain on my lips and these by far make my lips feel the best that they ever have. Um, I don't know about the moisturizing in long term. I mean, they're not going to substitute your lip balm, for example, but instead of having like a matte shade on your lips that feels really dry, these are very, very moisturizing. So that's really great. Now, um, again, I think that they are worth the money. They are a little bit more expensive, but the feel of them, they're so luxurious that, I mean, the packaging, everything, the feeling of them, the packaging, the lasting power on the darker ones, I mean, it's just perfect. So these are by far my favorite lipsticks. Um, if you have any, I would love to know what colors you own and like what are your like go-to colors. Like what's your favorite dramatic uh, color and what's your favorite everyday color? Um, I personally love these. I know in the future I will buy more and yeah, I would love to know your recommendations. So please leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, if you have any video requests or anything, please let me know as well because I just started making YouTube videos again and I would love to hear your suggestions. Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be reviewing the YSL Volupt, uh, shoot, what are they called? Hi, every guys. Hi, every guys. <laughs> And like the luxurious, luxur, how do you say that? L luxurious? I don't even think that's a word, whatever. Who likes myself? 